So as always, our wrist rotations to, to warm up, okay? So again, set yourself up, shoulder over the wrist. We're gonna externally rotate them slightly, okay? So regardless of what position we're in, I still want you to try and like create that torque. So I know my hands aren't twisting, but I'm trying to get that slight bit of torque any position that I'm in, right? And we're gonna go forward, back, side and side, one full circle one way, and then one full circle the other way. Cool, and we're gonna roll through, fingers facing forward, fingers out, fingers in, and then fingers all the way around, and pointing towards you. Nice and easy, just loosen off any rickety bits. The Noble CrossFit Games, how do you feel about that? Crazy expensive shoes. <laughs> I saw a few memes that I was going to send yeah. them to, but I didn't. I was like, I'm sure you'll see them. <laughs> yeah, fun, it's fun. I said, the one I liked was like, oh, when you your shopping cart equals the same amount as like 11 place at the games, like the, the, the prize fund. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, but. That is a good one. Anyway, they're pricey things, aren't they? Yeah. I just don't understand how you can charge more than Nike. I, I just, it blows my mind. Uh, I remember I'd like never heard of it until I yeah, went to Andrews, it, yeah. and it was like all the show Andrew's gang had the roll. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, like, I was surprised it wasn't Rogue. Rogue would have been. Yeah. Because um, Rogue, Rogue have got their own, like, there was like rogue invitations and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, though. It's always been me box since the start then. Yeah, since like way back when. Yeah. When yeah. were the first games? Like 2010 or something? 11? 11? Maybe 10. Because the first <laughs> open was 2011, I think. But I think there was a, a games beforehand. I don't know. Okay. So hopefully my knowledge has improved, but remember when we were doing quizzes in the first lockdown? <laughs> we did a, one of the quizzes I did, we did a round of CrossFit and I swear I got a zero out of 12. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. I don't worn out, it's okay. Yeah, you try, you, we learn, right? Cool guys, so those fingers go together, elbows together, and we're gonna go 20 seconds one way, 20 seconds the other way. Why do I keep getting signed out of this thing? What is going on? Doesn't do more time. Kicks me off on my home screen. You guys still there? Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> There's all the time. It's like someone else has signed into this account, so you've been kicked out. You're like, what? <laughs> right. So, 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other. Cool. And we'll start in three, two, one. Let's go. 20 seconds. Sorry. I'm lying to you. 20 seconds one way, 20 the other. We'll just go twice through. <clears throat> Try and get as much range of motion as you can. So much and crunching clicking. and clicking. Yeah. Three, two, one, and the other way. Yeah. Cracking and popping and all that. Fun. Are you still doing your voodoo taping? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I did handstand push ups the other day. Um, I was able to do the strict handstand push ups from a flat hand. So that's a that's an up from push ups, so we're getting there. And swap the other way, guys. Plagued, always plagued with injuries. I only ever do anything about them once they happen, though. So, no, <laughs> no prehab, no prehab, no warm ups. <laughs> Two, one, and swap the other way. Normally, a warm up's like go in, mess about annoy some folk, do a few of the movements that we're supposed to be doing, and like, right, let's just go. But getting too old for that. Getting too old for that. In three, two, one. Rest there. Cool, guys. Um, and we're going to go into that prayer stretch that we do. So remember, the other arm just tries to keep the fingers pointing to the ceiling. And we want to see that rib cage instead of being flexed open here, we want to see it tucked in and letting that chest drop down, opening up the shoulders, stretching off those lats. Okay, and we'll go 30 seconds on each arm, and then we'll go 30 seconds with both. Cool team, and we'll start in five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's go. Good guys, abs as tight as possible. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And we'll swap over. And we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good guys, squeeze those abs as tight as we can. Try and open up those shoulders as much as possible. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Cool. Now we're going into those both at the same time. So we just go like opposite elbow crease and then down as much as we can. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We'll go 30 seconds on this one. Abs tight. Good job, guys. Remember, breathe. Let the chest sink down to the floor as much as we can while still maintaining that solid core. Good, guys. Five, <clears throat> three, two, one. Boom. Rest there. Cool. Well done. Beautiful. So we know what's coming. We know what we do every week. Yeah, that turtle shape, turtle power. Um, and it's the same as last week. So we got those eight rounds, 20 seconds in, 10 seconds off, okay? Um, now remember, when we're in that position, the main points that we're looking for is that we're lifting the chest up off the floor and we create that by squeezing the rib cage down as much as we possibly can. Okay, that's why we get that slight round in our upper back, which is fine in this sense. Those arms, trying to open up the out of the shoulders as much as we can at the same time as pressing up and hiding those ears, okay? And the last thing is just squeezing your bum as tight as you possibly can. Um, how are we feeling with this position? We're feeling it's getting maybe not easier, but you feel it's transferring over to the high stands and getting used to it, and, yeah? Yeah, it definitely doesn't get easier, but yeah. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all. more awareness of the position. I also now feel when I'm doing any sort of plank thing, I'm going into that position. Yeah. Good. Just squeezing your abs as much as you possibly can is what we need. Like plank world records. I was trying to build that in my life. It's just a waste of time, man. Right. Let's do it, guys. 20 seconds in the position, 10 seconds off, eight times. Okay? We'll start the first one in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Lift that chest up off the floor. Press in the shoulders open. Try and get your armpit down to the floor. There we go. Bum squeezed. Strong, guys. Remember to breathe and we can rest in five, <clears throat> three, two, one. Rest there. Ten seconds off. Breathe. Good, guys. And we're back in. In three, two, one. Let's go. Good, guys. Really press those shoulders up into those ears also. Hide those ears. There we go. Chest up off the floor. Bum squeeze. Awesome. Team, five seconds. Keep holding. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Strong team. Good. And five, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, guys. Nice. Let's try and squeeze those feet together also. Bum squeeze. There we go. As much tension as we can. Strong team. Three, two, one. Beautiful rest. Awesome. Ooh, buddy. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Let's go. Awesome, guys. Have a squeeze your bum, press those armpits into the floor, open up those shoulders as much as possible. Awesome, guys. Five seconds. Well done. Two, 
One rest. Sure. <laughs> My gap saw it though. Five, four, squeeze your bum, keep it in the squeeze. Two, three, two, one, <laughs> let's go. Good guys. Bum squeezed, abs tight. There we go. Brace for that punch as if someone's going to punch you in the stomach. In two, one. And rest. Beautiful. 10 seconds and we go again. We got three more to go, team. In three, two, one. Let's get it. There we go. Chest up off the floor, bum squeezed. Really press those shoulders away, also. Hide those ears. There we go, team. Well done. Strong, guys. Strong hold. Three. Two, one, and rest. Two more. <laughs> awesome, guys. And three, two, one. Let's get it. Awesome, guys. Chest up as high as we can get it. Armpits, try and press those in the floor. We'll bring up those shoulders as much as we can. And rest there, team. Well done. We got one more. Ooh, buddy. Cool, guys. In three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, guys. As much tension as we can. Good team. And rest there. Boom. Woo, buddy. Awesome, guys. Good. Shake them off. Shake them off. <coughs> cool. So, um, same as last week, we're going to play about with um, those headstand positions. Okay. We're going to get used to being in that bottom position, um, working sort of the strength and stability in that position as well without the help of the wall. So if we can do it without the help of the wall and we get comfortable being in that position, when we have the wall to, to balance us, we can comfortably sort of lower ourselves into that position, right? So the idea here is just a five-minute emom. Now, you're trying to hold that headstand anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds in that, um, in that minute window. So you might have, say, 20 seconds in, 40 seconds off, or 30 on, 30 off type thing. So, again, we could play about with the different degrees of the heights that we're going to play with. So... <gasps> Same as last time, if we were to set ourselves up at like the bottom of a push-up, where my nose is on the floor, that's roughly where I want my head, the crown of my head. So if I go this way, so I'm loaded out in front. Now you can clearly see in this position here, my hands are behind and my head is in front. So I've got that tripod, so I can walk my legs in, knees on my elbows, and I can slowly lift my feet up. And we can chill here, in this position here. We can squeeze our core and lift our knees away for a little bit if we want to we could chill here and then we can slowly raise the legs point the toes and you can play about with those different positions right now the idea is we get mega comfortable all our weight shouldn't be in our in our hand should be over both hands and your head all that weight shouldn't be loaded out in front of your your head or your neck either right so we're trying to find that nice equal um spread now Make sure we are loading forward. In this case, you're going to start in the bottom, but we are looking for that sort of triangle, right? Hand, hand, and the head's out in front. Um, purely because, one, you can see there, it's a stable base. Now, you can try it with your hands in line with your head without the wall there, but all that's going to happen is you're just going to do a forward roll out of it, right? That's why we have that base. Um, wider the base, the more stable we're going to be, right? And then that is where we are strong from in sense of a barbell, because we can't set up hands in line with head with the bar because my neck's in the way, right? So we would always start in that loaded forward, loaded up, head, tripod position, we press, and then we finish everything in line, right? We know that from weightlifting. It's the exact same in gymnastics when we do our handstands. So we're looking for anywhere 20 to 30 seconds in the position. I'll let you know where you're at, and you can play about with where we are um, 
in terms of how high our feet go, right? Um, anytime you're moving positions when we're, we're there, make sure it's mega slow, right? Nothing crazy. Um, don't send yourself over. If you do a forward roll, that's like a thousand burpee penalty. Um, so nice, slow and controlled movements, okay? Make sure we're squeezing our abs as tight as we can the whole time. All your turtle shape is the exact same. The only difference is our... Um, we can't really open up the shoulders because we're in that sort of closed off loaded position, right? But everything where you're squeezing your bum, squeezing that rib cage down, all that remains the same. <clears throat> cool. Bum, ba, da, bum. Awesome team. So find you might need a mat for your head or something. Awesome guys. Cool. And we'll go for that first one in five, four, three, two one let's go so just start off nice and easy walk your knees in find that position you're comfortable in abs tight the whole time bum squeeze now now that we're upside down in some sense we still want to try and squeeze that rib cage down as much as we can that's us at 20 seconds remember to breathe five three two one nice rest guys Yo. awesome there we go one down four to go 20 seconds awesome guys cool now if we do end up with say in the from our knees on our elbows and we kind of come off a little bit or if we have our um toes pointed let's make sure we return back through the the sort of same positions don't just kind of kick down from the bottom right we want to reverse the way we go up just so we get used to all the positions We'll go again in three, two, one. Let's go. No rush into it. Everything mega slow, mega controlled. Play about with what's comfortable. Now with those elbows, both of you have them where you need them. Your elbows are almost pointing directly where your eyes are looking, right? That's what we want to see. We don't want to see those elbows flailing out to the side. <clears throat> Cool team and rest in three, two, one, and chill. Beautiful. Nice, Tony. Well done. Strong, Jen. Cool, guys. Cool. Now, with those elbows facing the way your eyes are, we have your shoulder externally rotated, right? So if we think about what my hands are doing, if my elbows are going to fill in the way, I'm having to externally rotate my shoulder as opposed to letting my elbow go this way and now my shoulder rolls in the way, okay? Not a strong position to press from. Cool, team, and we'll go in the next one in five, four, three, two, one. So let's go. So in that bottom position, you're almost trying to, like, twist the floor from where your hands are, like, twist it together, create as much torque in those shoulders as you can which is going to set you up nicely to drive out of that position from our strict or whether it be our kip. Awesome team. That's 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. Rest. Cool. We feel a difference there. If we're actively trying to use our shoulders, create some torque, lats come into play. I know your hands aren't going to move when... When we're on the floor, but that's the idea of trying to just keep everything in as tight as we can, bringing in your chest, your lats, your shoulders, your traps, as opposed to just like the soft bit of your shoulder that isn't really strong and we can't really press from, right? Cool, guys. We're going to the next one in five, four, three, two, one. We got two more. Let's get it. Nice, Jenny. Good. Good, Tony. There we go. Keep those abs as tight as we possibly can. As if someone was going to come punch you in the stomach. Good, guys. 20 seconds in. In three, two, one. Rest. Beautiful. We got one more. Good job. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good? Roger that. Nice. One more. Ten seconds, guys, and we go into our last one. 
in three, two, one, let's go. Awesome team. There we go. Keep that tension, squeeze the bum. I know it's hard if we have a slight crease in our hip, which is fine. Try and keep his tension from the toes to the floor. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome, guys. Right there. Cool. Shake them off with them. That's fine. <clears throat> How are we feeling? Dizzy? <laughs> awesome, team. Well done. Cool. So, next stage, um, entirely up to yourself. You can focus on the negatives that we did last week, okay? Or we can play about with um, what we did the week before, I think, um, with those sort of weight shifts <clears throat> left and right. Um, now, we did those on the box <clears throat> or on the bench or the chair or something. We can also do those up against the wall if you want to play about with shifting weight left and right. Okay. Now, even if um, we want to get our handstand push up before our handstand walk, the, the shift in left and right is going to build on that um, stability and the strength in your shoulders because everything's having a battle to, to shift and support the weight, right? Um, or we can practice those negatives. Now, we do have half an hour left, so we'll probably we definitely get through both of them. But whatever one you do second is going to suck because the first one's going to tire you out, right? Um, but it's up to yourself. You you decide. You guys decide. I have both written down, so I'm I'm ready for either. What would you think? Yeah, happy with both. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Don't know what to do first though. <laughs> so probably the hardest one is probably your negative, the one that we're going to need to be the freshest for, right? Um, purely because we're lowering down onto our head, so. Um, now remember that position you were just in, right? The bottom of your, your headstand, because that is the bottom of your handstand push-up, regardless if it's kipping, regardless if it's strict, if it's parallettes, if it's deficit, whatever it is, we still load forward um, or backwards, whatever way you want to think about it. Um, Say it always confuses me, but I'm like, make sure you load your head forward. And she's like, but it's backwards. I'm like, just do what I'm asking you to do. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Forget the words I'm using. Just do what you know you need to do. Cool. So we make sure we load forward. So if that's in a sense of being here in my position, I don't come straight down. The first thing that happens is my elbows flail out. So we need to keep that tension in our shoulders. So we load forward. We break at the elbow. Head touches. We're in our headstand. We keep those elbows in tight. We press. And then we finish. Okay? But we don't worry about the press just yet. So in terms of your negative on the wall, what we're looking to do is get yourself up in that strong position. We load forward, elbows go straight towards where the eyes are looking. We've loaded out in front, keep that tension, kick down, and then reset. So the idea is we go as slow as we possibly can. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we all know the negative phase um, under control they're mega hard right because it's a, a movement or a sort of phase of the movement where we just kind of drop through but especially when we're doing head start into our headstand that's where we want to be in control of the movement and um, and the more confident we get with that we can speed it up right but in this sense we're trying to build the strength through that full range of motion by going as slow as possible okay so again think of your shoulder like your hips in this case it's like the squat shoulder becomes your hip elbow becomes your knee wrist becomes your ankle so we in a squat we know we send our bum back so in the sense of our handstand squat push up we're going to send the head forward or load the shoulders first as we come down right we don't go straight down the middle and um, now if you think with well, the elbows and um, if you think in your squat when your knees cave in okay that valgus that we all shout at you and tell you to drive your knees out that is the, the, the sort of equivalent of that is when we come down at the headstand, we let the elbows go the opposite way, okay, into that sort of weaker position where we're using less of the bigger, stronger muscles. And we're trying to keep that shoulder as tight and as torque as we possibly can. And we do that by externally rotating it. In this case, when we're down, the elbows are not pointing together, obviously, but we are trying to keep them in, trying to keep that nice straight line. 
um, to keep as much tension as we can, bringing the big the big players, right? So we'll play about with it. So last time I think we did five negatives, I think. I have a new notepad. I filled the other one with studying, so I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a new one. It's the first time I've ever filled a pocket pad with one subject in my life. Um, so, <laughs> Good effort. Yeah. We're, what, five months in now? Four months in of study, I think. So the exam's booked. It's booked. <gasps> Taking the plunge. Yeah, but I'm not telling anyone what it is in case I fail, so I don't have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, ah, but it's not the pass, huh? were, you, were you saying before the pass rate was like crazy? Yeah, like, I don't know what the pass so that no one's told me what the pass rate is or what the pass mark is for the percent, like what I need to get on the exam. All yeah. I know is that 1% of cro uh, qualified CrossFit coaches have uh, level three. Yeah. So, that's it's a, a cool club to be part of, I suppose, if you can get into it. Um, just don't know how I feel about sitting still for four hours with a mask on, doing computing. But um, we'll see. Yeah, I'd rather coach a class. Like, give me a class to coach or something. I don't know. Cool. So we're going to we'll go, we'll go. We'll aim for five. We'll see how we're feeling. I've got eight written down. So we'll see how we get on. we got eight written down. But I'd rather go less if we start like just collapsing on our head, right? We want to we want to move as slow and as strong as possible. Yeah, cool. Man. So let's uh, focus on all of those points, but we don't neglect everything that we've learned, right? So you know when you kick up into that handstand, we know that strong position that we start from. We know that it's pressing through the floor. We're hiding those uh, ears with the shoulders. The abs are squeezed. The ribcage is down. The bum is tight. We know all those positions. It's your turtle position. It's just upside down, right? Cool, guys. So we'll go for this first one in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. It's a nice, strong kick up. Get yourself into that strong position first. Get everything tight. And then when you are ready, slow as you can. Load forward. Nice, Jen. Good. Load the head forward. Touch and kick down. Nice, Tony. Well done. Good. Strong team. Well done. That was a strong first attempt. Beautiful. <clears throat> and we'll just rest as needed. And then make sure I know that last little bit. Like once we get past halfway, that's where we're like, cool. I'm just going to collapse. <laughs> that's where I want you to focus on keeping those elbows in tight, nice and strong, as much torque as we can. Slow and controlled touch there is always going to be an element of kind of that last little drop off okay because it's that position where we're not quite strong from um but we're building on that right it'll get easier as we go cool guys we good to go for another one no cool yeah. five four three two one let's go <laughs> distractions cats <laughs> Nice, Jen. There you go. I was better than the last one, wasn't well I? Got a Tony abs tight, abs tight. Beautiful, strong. Well done. <coughs> awesome team. Two down. Beautiful. Did you feel the difference in that one, Jen? Yeah, I was trying, trying, trying. Hold on. Yeah, looks like that. Good. Cool, guys. And we'll go for the next one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's set yourself up in that strong position. We're pressing through the floor. The abs are tight. Bum squeezed. Slowly load forward and then break at the elbow. There you go. Strong, guys. Well done. Much better. Good. Tony, did your cat play fetch like a dog? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's cool. <laughs> nah, he's not doing it now that I've said it. He didn't, didn't see it go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, guys. Okay, we'll go for the next one. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's go. Make this one the best one. Strong position. Break at the shoulder first. And then slow as you can. Nice, Jen. There you go. Good, Tony. Nice. Awesome, team. Ooh, they're getting better. They're getting better. <sighs> awesome, guys. Cool. How are the shoulders feeling? Tired? We good? I'm quite tired because I did that workout where it was like 10 times shoulders over heads as well. Yeah, but it may be warm. Trying to use the legs. <laughs> but then you made us do step ups as well. So. Yep. Method and sadness. <laughs> cool, guys. Okay, we'll go for the next one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Strong position, abs tight, bum squeeze, break at the shoulders, then the elbow. Nice, good, awesome team. That didn't go well. Oh, oh crap, my calf has pretty much gone out of crap. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> That's, what you call, crap? That's what you call keeping tension through your whole body. That's what we need. <laughs> good. So we won. Oh, that was so weird. Do you know what I mean? It's like it almost goes, and you're like, no, no, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> cool, we'll go one more. One more on this one. That's good. Keeping tension through the whole thing. Awesome, guys. Cool. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Strong position. Hide those ears. Press, press, press. Bum squeeze. Turtle shape at the back. And break at the shoulder. Break at the elbows. And on your way down. Elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. Nice. <laughs> good, guys. Well done. Oh, that my left hand started taking over there. That's weird. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Just left and right. Here. Good, team. Cool. So, what we'll do is rest. We'll play about with um, some holds and shifting about just to, to finish off. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, with our um, negative, you're going to build the, the strength going through that negative phase, right? Um that mixed with if we're hitting classes we have heaps of like um push-ups we have a bunch of pressing with the dumbbells if we have them um so that's all going to work towards um that goal of that strict handstand push-up right um complete faith that you can all do a kipping one to some degree right whether it be a mat or so but what we're trying to do is hammer home the build the solid foundations of the strict version first um, whether we get that now or later or whenever it is before we start adding the crazy dynamics to it, right? One, it's going to save injuries because you're strong enough to do the skill that you're trying to do. Um, and it's going to build on the efficiency of the movement, right? Because if we manage to get our, say, first kipping one, and we muster up the hip power to, to get ourselves up and we catch it, Hail Mary, sweet, but the workout has 12 every round, well, you're in trouble, right? Um, whereas if we put the steps in place to work on the, the foundational strength of it, um, then when it's faced with, cool, we got our first one, that's an awesome achievement, but now again, we're faced with 12 every round. So you'll be like, cool, I can do one, but I know I can do maybe like one rest one for the, the, the workout as we go on instead of like that one rep max attempt every every time you're doing it, right? Um, so that's why we do all this sort of stuff. So the handstand walk, sort of element not only for your handstand walk again it's going to build that strength stability that we need um to build that tension instead of both working together now one's going to have to work on its own which is just going to aid that um that strength right um we're never doing one-handed negatives though because that's a that's, that's a disaster waiting to happen right so if we think in terms of your pike what i'm looking for now this can be done in your pike on the floor on the box or up against the wall, right? Regardless of where we're at, if we're up against the wall and we can't take our hand off the floor, that's fine. You can still play about with slight weight shifts, right? So if we take the position here, for example, what I'm looking to do is a slight shift over 
and then slight shift over. It doesn't have to be over hand off or the other one where we like tap the shoulder. That doesn't have to happen. It can literally be keep as tight, tight as we can, keep that torque, slight shift, return, slight shift, and then return again. Regardless of what intensity we're putting on it, if it's from a plank, if it's from a pike, if it's from a pike on the box, um, from our knees, from our toes, or if it's up on up on the wall, right? It's all the same. It can just be tiny little shifts left and right um, while maintaining that position with our, our back, right? Our core is nice and tight. We've got that slight round in our back because we're sucking the ribcage down. We're still hiding the ears. Now, it's not a case of like shift over, the other one relaxes, and then we turn back, and then now we're in this position here, right? We make sure we stay here as much as we can. Though you can relax the other one as we come off, but when we come back to it, we have to press and fight as the weight shifts back over onto the other side, right? So what we can do is we'll go like 10 seconds worth. Now that's up to you guys whether you want to do it. Um, we can play about with it. We can start by doing it in a plank, then we can do it in a pike, then we can do it in a pike off of the box, and then we can do it up on the wall if you wish, okay? Instead of just kicking straight to it, just so you kind of feel about, right, this is where I'm at, this is how it's going to feel. Making sure we're maintaining those positions as we start adding intensity, or in this case, some body weight to it, right? Make sense? Beautiful. So if you need to grab a chair or uh, anything like that to start with, um, we can... So we'll literally just start in a just a straight arm straight arm plank um, to begin with. And it's literally just shift side to side. And if you want to, this one, you're probably going to be able to take your hand off, slow motion, touch your shoulder, put it back on the floor, shift, slow motion, touch your shoulder, come back on. Right? Okay. <clears throat> this one will be slightly easier. So we'll do this one for 20 seconds. Just kind of warm up the, the movement of it, right? Now remember, it's not just like fall and catch yourself or like, oh, wait a minute, I need to move back in because I'm going to fall over. Um, it's slow, controlled, um, everything's under control, everything's balanced, it's not just rushing, right? Everything's slow as we can. Cool team, and we'll do the first one in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just from that straight arm plank. In this case, obviously we can't hide our ear, but I want you to press through the floor as aggressively as we can, there we go. Remember that torque. So in this case, hand's not going to move, but we're trying to get like your elbow pit, if you want to call it that, the inside of your elbow, facing forward in this case. There we go. Good. In three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Cool. A lot going on, right? It's hard to be like, right, I'm moving my arms, and as soon as I'll be like, yeah, remember externally rotate your shoulders, you're like, ah, fuck. And you go back again. So it's that thing of like every time your hand, whether it be touches, but if it, even if it hasn't left the floor, obviously when we shift over, it's hard to maintain torque when there's no resistance at the other side, right? But make sure when you put that other hand back down or the weight shifts back to the middle, we then tighten that back up again and everything's ready to go, ready to receive the weight on the other side, yeah? This time, we'll do it from that pike position, okay? So same position you were just in, you're just going to walk those feet in um, as close to your hands as you can that strong position with the abs um, <clears throat> and that strong position with the shoulders. And I'm going to do the same thing. We play about with the, the degree we do it, hands off the floor, or do we stay on the floor and just shift left and right? Cool, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Good team. And three, two, one. Boom, rest. Well done. Right on. Nice. Cool. Cool. This time we're going to add to that. We're going to pop our feet on the box. Now we can go from our knees or we can go from our toes. Play about with it. Um, and again, you can play about with the degree of like, cool, am I going to shift? Am I strong enough and confident enough to try and take my hand off the floor slightly? Even if it's just like the heel of your, your palm, tiny bit off the floor and then back down, or am I going to try and take my whole hand off and go from there, right? So it could be knees or it can be toes, okay? Just depending on. But just make sure we're still in that strong position. I know now that we're moving, don't let that neck start to extend and then kind of look forward. We still want that neutral neck Neutral spine, just nice and loose. And um, we should be looking down or looking forward, right? Just relax. Cool, team. And we'll go into this one in five, 
four, three, two, one. Let's go. Strong position first before we start moving. Good, guys. So in this case, we're almost trying to get our chest and our head without flexing at the neck as close to the box or the chair as we can, opening up those shoulders. I think almost trying to press the armpits towards that obstacle. Cool, guys. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Woo. How are we feeling? Feel the difference in that one? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. So what we're trying to do when we get into that position is try and watch out for once we get here, this is where we were trying to be, trying to avoid ending up in this position here. So yes, I'm nice and tight, but I've loaded my shoulder forward as if I was coming down to do that negative. So remember, we're still in that strong finish and start position. We're just moving in that same position. Okay, try not to let yourself load forward. We're not at the stage or if we're trying to move, um, we're not going to load the shoulder forward because that's going to close off the shoulders, making it way harder and put much more um, stress on the front of your shoulder. So again, we're trying to open them up. Instead of being here, like our, our drop, we're trying to get those, think about the turtle shape on the floor, armpits as close to the ground as we can, at the same time as maintaining, and we're going to move left and right, yeah? Cool team, we'll go one more from there. We'll just do a 10 second one just so you can, well, that's fresh in your head. <clears throat> in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There you go, Tony. Much better. Nice. Good, Jan. Strong. Three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. Much better. Do you feel the difference there? Yeah. I don't think yeah. I could do that before when we first did that. I'm like lifting the heel. I'm lifting my heel up rather than my whole hand. But I don't think I could lift that before from the toes. So yeah, there you go. Cool. Strong. Getting stronger and more confident. Beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, you instantly know that like when we're out here, it feels kind of tough. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. And then if we get further and further and further, you're like, wait a minute, my shoulders are about to explode. What's going on here? Whereas if we can get ourselves in that locked position as open as we can, as our mobility will allow while maintaining that strong midline. Everything kind of works together, and you're like, oh, hold on. I'm working harder, but this feels easier, almost, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's that weird sort of, the harder you work, the easier that position is going to feel. Um, the old uh, professional gymnastics where they say a, hand, a freestanding handstand is a rest position. Like, come on. <laughs> Good one. For who? Not me. <laughs> um, cool. Cool, guys. So now, if you want to, we can kick that up against the wall and we can try. Now, it doesn't have to be hands off, heel, whatever it is. It can just be hold. Get yourself in that strong set up position first and then be like, cool, I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm going to slightly shift to the left. I'm going to slightly shift to the right and then come back in. Now, any time that you're moving, so we'll only go 10 seconds, so it won't be crazy. But any time that you feel, wait a minute, I'm deviating from the positions we know in that sort of turtle position, stop find it again, and then move. Okay, those are the positions we want to reinforce because that's what's going to make it more stable, stronger, and much easier, right? Cool, team. So we're 10 seconds up against the wall if you feel confident enough. If not, we can uh, either just hold the position up against the wall um, and not move side to side. That's cool. Um, or we can stay on the box. <clears throat> and then we'll do three sets of 10 seconds at this one. And then we are done. Cool, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Get into that strong position. Bum squeezed. There we go. Press. Hide those shoulders. Armpits forward. Beautiful. Slight shift left. Slight shift right if we want it. In three, two, one. And rest. Nice, guys. Well done. Ooh, good. Awesome. Strong, strong, strong. Cool, guys. And when we go into this next one, do the exact same again. But this time, while you're doing that, I want you to try and focus on, am I creating tension and torque in my shoulders, right? So we're turning those out as much as we possibly can. <clears throat> cool. Next one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 
set up in that strong position. We're hiding the ears, the bum squeezed, hips are open, and then we're creating that tension. Slight shift if we want it. And we'll rest in three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. Real good. Strong. Well done. Cool, guys. We'll go one more. Strong effort, guys. Well done. And we'll go. Oh, what's up here? And five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Last one, guys. Get yourself into that strong position. Bums tight. Ab squeezed. That slight turtle position. Creating that tension in the shoulders. Pressing through as aggressively as we can. If we think we're pressing at the floor, try and press harder. There we go. In three, two, one. Rest, team. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, the calf almost got again. Pay <laughs> <laughs> attention. So we need. So we need. <laughs> nice. Good job. Well done. Beautiful.